Hello there everybody, it is me Feezer Bunny, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're building a California inspired suburban home. This is a 3 bedroom, 2.5 bathroom home for a young family or a young couple. I could also see a couple of roommates moving in here. I did move in my gay couple in here. The couple I use for most of my My Wedding Stories gameplay. But anyway, as per usual, this is another one of those really crafty builds. I did spend hours crafting these archways using the tool mod in tandem with these floor pieces from Spade. That item is really quickly starting to be one of my favorite items in game just because of how versatile it is in tandem with the tool mod. But this time I'm building these shallow archways from scratch and I really really like this effect. I've seen this pop up quite a lot in California homes. Specifically more of like the California suburban style homes and I've also seen this detail pop up in a lot of McMansions as well So I was really tempted to call these the quote-unquote McMansion arch, but this house isn't necessarily a McMansion though. It's it's a three-bedroom home I can definitely see myself using similar details in Possibly a future McMansion builds. It's not really something that I would build, but maybe for the sake of it, I would consider it. But anyway, I often get questions from people about where I get my build inspirations from. And honestly, build inspirations can come from anywhere. And in this case, I was really inspired by these architectural details. And that's basically the reason why I did this build. Basically, this build was built around these archways, and I'm really, really happy with how it all came together. I mean, this is a fairly simple house. It's a single-story home, but I feel like those arches really make it what it is. I did try to compensate for that, though, by incorporating some sort of split leveling into the interior, but I feel like the arches really make this house, so I will be using those quite a bit. There is one on the front porch as well as on the garage in front and there is also an archway on the back porch as well. But anyway, another aspect of this house that I'm really really excited to show you guys is actually the backyard. I'm so so excited because the backyard turned out so so nicely. Luckily this lot was perfect for this house. You can see some similar looking houses in the background. In case you didn't know, we are in Del Sol Valley, which is kind of like a California-inspired world. I definitely see this house being in probably LA or like San Diego, somewhere like that. And I did look at Google Maps, sorry, Google Earth. I do prefer looking at Google Earth actually because that's the software that I'm more familiar with. I've been using Google Earth for architectural work ever since I was a college student, so... I'm more used to that. Honestly, the best way to get inspiration out of Google Earth is literally do just a geoguesser and just drop yourself on a random corner of the world and just look at what the houses there look like. I feel like if you Google something, it gives you like really specific results and sometimes it's not the most realistic result, it's kind of like the more curated results if you guys get what I mean. So I do prefer just looking at actual IRL houses using Google Earth. Anyway, I love that wallpaper from My Wedding Stories. I feel like that color is so perfect for California. And yes, I wish we had more options with that wallpaper. Maybe an option without the baseboard because I would like to use that wallpaper on anywhere else other than the bottom floor but yes it looks so good and I did struggle with some windows because I wasn't quite sure I didn't find any that captured kind of like that same shallow arch detail so I made my own using some shelves in tandem with some columns and they kind of frame the window in a way that kind of references the shallow arch but also kind of like looks different anyway it looks it looks fine weirdly enough my country has quite a few of these houses as well 
I feel like at some point this type of house has definitely globalized because I've seen similar details prop up in houses from my country which is really really interesting. Um, maybe it's because um, we have a similar history with California or something like that, I don't really know. Anyway, I also did some terrain manipulation in here. Very very subtle, but I do think it makes a difference. So yes, I did make a ramp leading up to the garage. The tricky part here is making the ramp look like it's not that bumpy, if you guys get what I mean. In in The Sims 3, it was easier to do this because you can make them in increments, but it's a little bit harder in The Sims 4, though luckily in The Sims 4, we have the grid, which is such a lifesaver because, yeah, I really, really love the Terrain Tools grid. They are super, super helpful. But anyway, we're also doing some preliminary landscaping in front as well. And yeah, you guys can just see me move some of these lights using the tool mod to place them on these pillars, which are actually from base game. These are fence posts, and I'm just using them as pillars because they match really well with those archways that we just did. Anyway, if you guys saw the intro for this video, you might notice a very slight change in my usual format because I am trying to experiment and I placed the house tour part of the video towards the beginning because I did notice that in the analytics not a lot of people stick through the end so I felt like it make more sense if I just have the house tour part of the video which is arguably the most interesting part of the video towards the front. I don't know, we'll see. Um, if you guys have any thoughts on that, you're welcome to let me know in the comments. But ultimately, the analytics is going to decide which format I'm going to keep. But for now, I'm just trying out new things. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you guys have already heard by now. But yes, I am one of the official builders on The Sims 4 high school years. It has been officially announced and I'm so, so excited. I have been working on the pack since last year or I have known about it since last year at least and we're very very excited myself as well as my fellow builders Miss Griffey and Jolene 1990 yeah we we had a lot of fun and you know it's a pretty surreal feeling to finally have something you created be included in you know the game that you've been so passionate about it's pretty surreal obviously I can't really talk about it that much but luckily we won't have that long to wait because the packs coming out soon and we are getting early access so we will be putting out early access content really really soon actually so please keep an eye out for that as well but anyway moving on to the interior of this build I did some split leveling just to compensate for the relative flatness of this house. Also, um, there's a lot of whites on the walls. I did change that wallpaper because I feel like it looked a little bit gray. So I went for a more whiter swatch, I guess. But yes, there's actually quite a lot of dark wood on this interior, which I felt like really contrasted with all of the whites and i feel like it turned out really really nicely not my typical color palette but i feel like it works oh yeah i also made that custom fireplace type thing i didn't really like the ones that we had for this build just mainly because they didn't feel contemporary enough so i just decided to literally spend two hours making that custom fireplace using the table from spot a some shelves and some of those room dividers from moschino moschino is like one of my favorite stuff packs by the way because that pack just came with so many versatile items as well and so many really nice clutter items which are totally my style like those magazines from moschino are like some of my favorite items ever but yes moving on to the kitchen i did do a more traditional kitchen so basically the story is that the people who live here 
probably invested more on renovating the living room and the bedrooms and then they kind of just left the kitchen um, and that's what we're seeing right now so the kitchen isn't the most modern but it kind of works you know it's some um, it's a more of a traditional i would say almost dated ish kitchen but it's usually the more expensive aspect of the house as well to renovate mainly because of all of the built-in fixtures so it can make sense for the couple living here to save it for last once they've saved up enough money i guess i really really like this color swatch actually for these counters i've been using these counters quite a lot recently they're just giving me this contemporary homely vibes and I feel like this aesthetic kind of like works really well with more suburban homes. So anyway, there is a kitchen counter with a little bar and also a little dining area. So this is a pretty open great room. I'm not sure if great room is necessarily the term you would use for like smaller homes. I know for a fact that for larger homes like lodges, for example, they would use the term great room for um, the space. But anyway. There's also a little bar type area. There's not actually a bar, but there's a little bar area with some drinks. Really, really like that detail. Once again, I wanted to give this house a vibe of, you know, the people living here really like to entertain. So, you know, it kind of makes sense to have a more open floor plan and some entertainment space as well. You know, some dining areas, some bar areas, and, you know, some casual lounging areas as well. So we have a really nice TV section in the living room. And also if they want to cook with their guests, I'm not sure if that's what you guys do in America, but yes, you can also do that as well. Anyway, the bedroom is huge. There's so much space in the bedroom, and once again, I'm using this bed from Seasons. I really, really like that bed once again because it gives me kind of like a realistic contemporary vibe. I wish it came with some more swatches because most of the swatches for that bed are kind of not really my thing. It came with some pretty crazy colors, that's what I'm trying to say basically, but... Yeah, some simpler swatches would have been nice because it's kind of a shame that bed i only really use two swatches for that bed which is kind of a shame but anyway i really really like that tv stand i did using these closets and side tables they kind of give me that 2000s vibes if you guys get what i mean but yes i also wanted to make a little tv area section for this bedroom because you know why not and anyway, probably my favorite part of this bedroom would have to be this walk-in closet. I really, really enjoyed this. So once again, I am using the tool mod to size down the door here. I'll do this later on, actually, once I've finished furnishing the bathroom. But one complaint I have with these clothing items from Dream Home Decorator is that they don't really fit. They're like a bit too small for the hangers. So what I did, I figure out that you can actually scale them up and they look way better scaled up because they look like they take up the space that they're supposed to and they don't have that weird gap. So that's that. And for the master bathroom, I just went for kind of like a more luxurious-esque vibe if that makes sense so yes they have a corner tub and also a shower and a toilet you know your bob standard stuff i guess you would find in kind of like a more middle income household because that's kind of like the you know that's kind of like the vibe i was thinking for when i was doing this anyway here I am, finally done with the bathroom and back to the closet because I realize that quite a lot of people actually don't have closet doors. I don't know why. Is that a trend in the US? People just removing closet doors because it's more aesthetic. I can see it. So I did size down the closet door using the scale tool from the tool mod and I am just rotating these shelves to frame the door properly. Because the doors do look weird if you scale them down and don't put a frame. They just look weird. They have like this weird gap. 
Anyway, this is one of the spare bedrooms. There's another spare bedroom that is furnished as a bedroom, but this one is actually furnished as an office. So, you know, if you have a sim that works from home, they can have this space as their office. And I also use that ombre wallpaper. I don't know, I just felt like I used quite a lot of grays and whites in this house, so I wanted to kind of like mix it up a little bit. And I felt like this room was the perfect place to use that wallpaper. And I also threw in some posters as well. Maybe whoever lives here is like a film geek or something like that. And there's also a laundry area leading up to the garage. Do you guys call it a mudroom? I'm curious. And yes, we have some additional storage area on the garage as well. And of course, I threw in some cars over there as well. Anyway, moving on to my other favorite part of this build. I am so happy with how the backyard turned out. The main focal point for the backyard is the swimming pool and I spent literal hours like placing these floor pieces from Spot A once again to basically line this pool. Now I've seen people do this so many times, I don't think I've done this in a build before which is quite interesting. That's mainly because I don't really do these suburban homes, I do more like, I don't know, I would say experimental builds but I have recently started to do more suburban homes because i kind of like just felt like it but anyway i really really like the shape of the pool i was going for more of like an amoeba shape of course i wasn't able to go full on because i didn't have space and if you guys didn't notice there is actually a slope from the house to the pool itself so i had very very limited space to work with in the pool itself but i'm really really happy with the shape of the pool anyway and over here for some landscaping i've already placed some trees but i will not keep those because i felt like they didn't really feel california-y to me so i just placed these rocks instead and yeah i felt like they kind of make sense you know they give me kind of like a palm springs vibe and I just put some plants from Strangerville. Strangerville came with some really nice plants. I just hate the fact that they are in the debug category. I don't know why they decided to just make these only available through debug and not in the build by mode catalog. But actually the spot A but actually, the Strangerville plants are in a different debug category. They're not in show live edit objects, they're actually in um, show hidden objects. So that's pretty annoying as well, because I don't really like using the show hidden objects category because there's so much items. And I do not want to have to scroll through 10 million items just to find what I want. I think I'm more used to the show live edit objects category which is why i used majority of my landscaping items from there so the rocks and the trees usually come from show live edit objects also they're free um so you know you don't have to pay for them with your sims money which is great because actually the money part isn't the worst thing because the bills are actually the worst thing because i have been doing quite a bit of gameplay recently and oh my gosh I hate how they revamped the bills system to just make it a pain to live in these larger houses <laughs> because the bills I believe are calculated based on the number of items that you have or like based on the worth of items that you have rather than you know your electricity or like whatever like that it's it's really really annoying. Anyway really really happy with this landscaping but i felt like something was missing so i will end up adding a little water feature in the pool i got this technique from my good friend mr alkin um so yes i just added this little waterfall type water feature over here felt like it really completed the look 
And these rocks are from base game and you can find them once again in the show live edit objects category as well. But it looks like that's going to be it for this build so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. This is probably going to be my last build before the high school years hype. So please watch out for my early access content on this and for high school years as per usual. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for dropping by. If you made it this far, I'm really, really grateful. And yeah, you all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.